one thing about this river is that the banks are relatively low here, which means that if it flooded above the sea level, not sea level, but the bank level, that it would flood this entire flood. And it's not at that point yet, but come springtime when the ice melts or during heavy rainfall during the summer or fall seasons, it may in fact do so. Another important thing about the Fox River that its location in downtown Waukesha could cause problems. Um, not only would the park frame park flood, but it also might flood the city itself. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. So I'm at the Master Disposal Service Landfill in Brookfield, Wisconsin. As you can see behind me, it is very large in size. It held uh, up to 1.4 million pieces of garbage and trash, which is why it is so massive in size. It is located on the floodplains of the Fox River, which I just showed you earlier. There's a deer running over there if you want to get that on the camera. That's all. The EPA shut down this landfill in 1982 because it was contaminating the groundwater with uh, organic compounds such as benzamine, uh, toluene, corium, and exenlase. And so they installed a gas control system to burn off the gas. They also uh, did a ground cover at the bottom to prevent any leakage into the groundwater and then into the Fox River. And then they also included an extractum system and they built 11 wells to pump the discharged water into a pond uh, in the rest of the site so the water beneath the landfill did not get contaminated any more than it already was. I keep the ends out for the pilot fine because you're mine. I walk the line. All right, we are also again in New Berlin, Wisconsin, in a subdivision. Uh, it is fairly new. It used to be a swamp or a marsh before this, but since then they have raised some parts and made it into a nice neighborhood. Behind me are retention ponds used to collect runoff from the streets and otherwise urbanized area. Uh, like I said, it used to be a marsh, so it used to hold all the water in the area, but now that the pavement of the roads and the roofing of the houses are just causing it to run right off, and had these retention ponds not been put in, the area would have been flooded, so houses that are at lower elevations would have gotten their basements flooded and such. Um, but the retention ponds also create new habitats for species. The retention pond also acts as a marsh, so it filters out pollutants such as salt from the roads in the wintertime and nutrients such as phosphorus and nitrogen, which is also beneficial to the groundwater system and the wells around the, this area that the houses use to get their water. <laughs> I find myself alone when each day's through. Yes, I'm out here in New Berlin, Wisconsin at a local farm. Uh, it's fairly large, and uh, it is a point solution source. All right, and on this farm, the farmer uses fertilizers uh, that, that are heavy in nitrogen and phosphorus. And this tilt of the, the farmland causes all the flats right here in this swampy area that is now frozen over. All right, and so when it collects here, it goes into that marsh down there, and it goes right onto the road. Nothing's stopping it. This is it to run straight either into the sewer system or back into the groundwater, which is pollution, and that is not good. I'll admit that I'm a fool for you because you're mine. I walk the line. My name is Moinina Cisse, and I'm here at uh, Jackson Park off uh, Forest Avenue in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And behind me is, uh, is an example of uh, flood mitigation. Uh, some other uh, flood mitigation techniques not at this site. As you can see, uh, there are no reservoirs or uh, channels uh, diverting the uh, flow of the water. So, This is a overview of Jackson Park as you can see the retention pond in the middle which sorts out chemicals and such and cleans the water there KK River is also being uh, protected
protected by buffer zones and such that also filter out toxins. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze, country roads, take me home. Yeah.